sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour And we are live in the room In the yes. room In the yes. room yes. on a Thursday night Yes, it's, again It's Larry, Curly and Mo And here we are Larry, Curly I keep on doing that And I'm, I'm sure it falls on deaf ears, you know, sometimes What? The Larry, Curly and Mo thing no, why? No, no, you neither. Curly, yes. Curly, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. It's all right. I have to. I follow it. Yes. Okay, that's all right. Uh, good, good. Fine. Good. Um, where was I? <laughs> yes. Good evening. Hello. It's uh, it's Thursday, the twelfth of September, and it's uh, just after the hour of nine o'clock, live here in the studio. And uh, Daz, Keith, and myself, we're going to get up with some mischief tonight. Um, it's not unusual. Basically. But before we get into mischief, I need to tell you some stuff and ask you some stuff. And I'm going to read it because I can't remember it because it's long. Um, on UKV, VAPFIL has posted the following. And I need you to listen. If you're in, in the environs of Reading, 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 which apparently is down south somewhere, um, it says... Our shop opened today, but we're still waiting on lots of deliveries, including our retail counters and a whole bunch of hardware. I got a call from the BBC about an hour ago asking if they can come around with their camera crew and interviewers to do a piece that they can show on World Vaping Day the 19th of September. He's a brave lad, this lad. He said yes. Um, there's a really nice vape-friendly pub across the road and the BBC would like to film the shop on a busy day and then go across to the pub with some of the regular customers which they haven't really got at the minute because they've only just, just opened, opened. Yeah. Um, and that's where you lot if you're anywhere near Redden this is where you <coughs> come in if Phil can confirm when the BBC will get there which he'll do probably Saturday can anybody get over and help support the cause this is the big probably going to do something supportive on eSigs so here's the chance here's the opportunity so if you can get over there to support the cause it'll probably mean you'll be on telly if you can can you let phil know on ukv either via a pm or preferably in the thread that he started so that he can see who can make it uh, and once the the bbc's gone then they can have a mini vape meet in the pub now that that threads on ukv um have we got a link to it, Chris? Um, yes, we have. I can put that into the chat later on. Brilliant. So the link will go into our chat later on. Um, and actually, by the time you get the video on demand, if you just go to UKV and look for it, it'll be there, this thread. Um, chance will be there. What, what is, is... What are we doing? Right, Leanna Lawless mm -hmm. is going to try and get there. So if you I also have an email address which I will share with them later as Phil has just contacted us. Right. Uh, I'm just dealing with that right now, so I will let people know because he would like them to email him. Right, it's on it's P, it's on PO TV as well. Mm. Yeah. Um so there you go. Um there's one or two people having problems with video as well, it seems. I don't understand why. Because it's all going perfectly here. Uh but there you go, it's reading. And the threads on UKV. So if you can get, or if you might be able to get, get, get along there, because this is an opportunity to show vaping in a good light on the BBC. So that'll be Sweden tomorrow. Oh yes, Sweden. the BBC on the nineteenth for World Vaping Day, mm. and and we're going to be doing stuff on World Vaping Day as well. Let me scroll down to me little bits of uh, information on there. Now, World Vaping Day is Thursday the 19th of September and there's lots happening. Um, there's events in Surrey on the south coast and, and Womwell. I can never pronounce this right. Womwell, Womwell, oh. Womwell. Womwell, where Rusty's from. He's got something going on. Um, it's in Yorkshire. In Yorkshire, right. one well. Down Yorkshire. Aye, down Yorkshire way. And uh, the thing that's happening in Sutton, is it so, and it'll show, watch.
So that's that's down south in Sutton and um, Tim has got uh, an event going on as well, uh, which is, where am I? At the Corn Exchange pub on Hailsham High Street in East Sussex. There'll be a raffle sponsored by the venue and the Vapor Trail shops. All proceeds of the raffle will go to the local children with cancer charity. First prize is an EVIC, plus vouchers to spend in the shops. Free bottle of juice for the first 30 in the door. And apparently the bee is good, says here. Plus, live RY4 radio, and we'll be bringing them in as well. There's going to be all kinds. It's going to be brill. It's going to be brill. Um, and some involvement in what we're doing, like I said. So that we'll be bringing them into the World Vaping Day stuff that we do next Thursday. Um, Rusty's is at Wumwell Working Men's Club from 7pm. Um, and I'm sure that that will be, uh, it'll be referred to in RY4 radio. And that happens tomorrow night. There you go, so that's our Y4 radio tomorrow night. Um, I think that's nearly all the notices I've got for the minute. There's one or two bits I want to point out a bit later on. Um, but we really ought to play the titles. <laughs> I think yes. it might be an idea. Yes. Do you reckon? Yes. I Shall do. we do the usual threesome introduction? Yes. Let's yes. do that. Hello, good evening, and welcome to The, the Hills Hills Hour. Hour. Yes, a little bit late getting to the titles, um, but hey, you know, it's important stuff. If there's an opportunity for good solid vapors to get on the BBC and shows in a good light, we've got to do that. And stuff that's coming off for World Vaping Day, we've got to do that as well. And there's a couple of other bits and bobs as well that I want to cover a little bit later in the show, but we need to start talking about e really. Yes, I think so, yes. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Yes. And I see that you are cuddling the... Uh, the smock arrow yes. that you took away last week, the pair of you. Mm. One on a, an EVOD battery and the other one on an EVIC. Let's go to uh, go to Daz first because you queued up. How have you been finding that then, the smock arrow? Well, since getting it on Thursday, I didn't, I looked at it from Saturday and I filled it up and I've never took it off the EVIC since Saturday. And really? the Arga T has had a complete and utter break. <laughs> really? I have done. the. I love it because um, every time I take a draw, I feel like I've got a good mouthful of vapour. Uh-huh. And it's got an excellent vapour production and flavour. Mm-hmm. The only one thing that I find a bit annoying is that I've probably got to fill it about two or three times a day, which is interesting because... When I fill the Arga T, it holds about, what, five mil? Closer to four and a half. Four and a half. So it's probably more on the six mil mark that I'm vaping on a daily basis with the arrow. 
So what sort of voltage are you running at or wattage? Um, really anything between 6.3 and 6.5, which again is lower because on the Arga T it's more 7, anything between 7 and 7.5 watts. So that's actually performing better for you then? Yes. Getting through more juice? Yes. Giving you thicker vapour? Yes. What's the flavour like? Flavour's excellent. Really, really um, comes through, does not lose flavour whatsoever. It's um, it's just constant. It's a really lovely little tank to use. It's absolutely excellent. That's uh, that's 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 what's known as waxing lyrical in the trade. That is. Yeah. So I take it you like it. Then. I do. I like it very much. <laughs> I do. I have to say, I like it very much. Right now, Keith, I know you're not a great menthol fan, are you? And, well, and, and it might have been tainted a bit with menthol, but how have you been getting on? I mean, I would concur with what Daz said. The vapour production, excellent. The flavour, um, I've used it all week, nothing else. It's taken me uh, most of the week to get rid of the wretched menthol taste. <laughs> and I mean, there's still a, um, a, a slight menthol flavour coming from it, but... Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll certainly be using it and continuing to yeah. use it. Excellent stuff. <clears throat> so, and, I, and I've got to say, I've been, uh, I've been, I filled one yesterday for Swedish TV mm. because I couldn't get the menthol out of the red one. Mm. And I'm, I'm not a big menthol lover, I think, as most people know. And my darling wife was complaining because apparently the house stunk. Not of menthol, but we all know the effect it has on me. I was going to say, right, though, right. is there a difference right, between yeah. ordinary menthol and Sav's menthol as well? I think there's a might. massive difference between ordinary <laughs> menthol and Sav's menthol. You see, menthol. I thought yeah. all I had to do was, was uh, I thought, let's get rid of this, was tip it out yeah, I did on that. the Friday morning. Yes. And I thought, well, you know, that hasn't really worked. Mm. <laughs> and the, and the, it's still tainted. Mm. Mm. Sav's yeah. menthol mm. is mental. Yes. It is. And, and, and if she's in chat, she'll be the first to put her hands up and tell you. Mm -hmm. um, you can get, if you like, an ordinary menthol juice and she'll not be able to taste it. No. Her menthol is smacky between the eyes menthol. I'm sure it's well, a cure for the common cold serves menthol. I, right. to, to be honest, I think it could cure <laughs> the elephant man. <laughs> it's wicked stuff. <laughs> wicked st Even cat will agree. But the cat likes a bit of menthol, don't you, cat? I do. But Sav's is wicked menthol, isn't it? Aye, that's blow the back of your throat out and stuff. It does. You know, all this, all this crap they've been talking in Europe about menthol anaesthetising the throat. Does it hell? It rips the back of your throat out when, when uh, Sav does well, it. Well, it's still Shot there. It. Yes. It's Apparently, there. she's been getting lots and lots of emails asking her to mix juice up for people. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Be warned. <laughs> Specify not too much menthol. I'm not kidding, I nearly busted a gut with it. But the uh, yeah, the, the, the one that I've got with my usual juicing um, is working an absolute dream, I have to say. If I was after something shirt pocketable, yeah, then I wouldn't have a problem using the smock at all. And as yeah. I said last week, I was using the Arrow out mm. and about in, in Lanzarote. Yeah. Um, had the batteries been a bit more up to the heat, it might have been, uh, been a bit better. So uh, the, 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 I think the other thing, and, and it, that I found easier with this was actually seeing the juice level mm -hmm. in the window, mm. which on some of the similar devices can be a bit difficult. And you know, the other thing which was interesting as well, do you remember the tanks when they first started the visions out and when you were coming to the end, you would get a burning taste. Mm -hmm. And once yeah. you had that burning taste, you couldn't get rid of it. Mm -hmm. That was it. I've, on occasion, when I've known then it's time to fill it, I've had that burning taste, and as soon as you fill it, the burn taste goes. Yes. It well, goes. I've, I've not, I'm, I've, I can only take your word uh, for it, because I haven't got I've that. I've never let that go that low, but mm. uh, right. That's because, you know, I mean, Keith, Keith and I are, uh, are old school. We look after our tools, don't we, Keith? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Can you just scroll <coughs> chat down yes. there, please? <clears throat> When I find the mouse. It'll be there somewhere. Oh, there That's it, it. yeah. Because otherwise we'll lose what chat's saying. Mm, we can't have true. that. Don't let it translate it from German or English. Gentlemen, chat are saying that you either have to bleach the product or use some Milton to get rid of the menthol. Milton? Milton? Oh, yeah, right. Milton does do it. Really? Do you know, I, I, thank you, chat. 
bleach it or use milk. I'll go for the Milton. I Milton. think we've got some. Will you be able to lay your hands on Milton? I would think Milton's not going to be a problem <coughs> to get hold of yes. at all. Oh, all news right. flash, news flash, news flash. For anybody that's interested, proud granddad moment. He started crawling today. I've never seen anybody panic so much to put baby gates up in my life. <laughs> <laughs> he took the first two tottering steps and that's it. The baby gates have gone up. Everything's getting shifted. He's on the move. He's on the move. He's our own. Um, where were we? Milton. Right. Oh, according to Vapor Caper, Milton is bleached. It is. Is yeah, that right? Bleached. Oh, yes, it's a bleach. Yeah, very mild. Is it? Yeah. Yes. It's, I, I, I remember never. years mm -hmm. ago sterilising the baby's bottles and you could, you know, you could, you could smell the... Mm -hmm. Well, I know when, yeah, when, when Susie was in it, but Jill kept on saying that she was sterilising things, yeah. and I said, yes. keep those tablets away from me. <laughs> um, that used to be one of my jobs, no. uh, actually sterilising the bottles. I thought you were okay. going to say sterilising people there. No, 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 the bottles. <laughs> Have you not seen any secretaries? <laughs> <laughs> Fully enough, <laughs> well, these... <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> yes, let's yes. not go there, shall we? Okay. Yes. No, right, no, Milton, no we'll, yes. we'll, we'll get away from that. So Milton's a bleach, and if you want to get shot, oh, this is amazing yeah. information, I didn't know this yes. at all. And that's, that's right, is it <coughs> Chris, that'll, that'll seriously shift menthol? Oh, seriously it will, yes. Yes. yes, yeah. That means well, when you think about it, it will, because you use the likes of Milton and that for when you're doing um, brewing. Do you? When you yeah, yes. well, I, I brew my own wine, so, and that's what I use to sterilise everything. Because it takes everything. Ah, well, I used, yes, when I made my own wine, yes, it, mm -hmm. it's a similar yes. product to Milton that mm -hmm. you're using for that. Mm -hmm. Demi Johns and mm -hmm. the like. Who? Demi, Demi Johns. Johns. Didn't he do Candle in the Wind? No, that was Alton John. Oh, All right, very Demi much. Okay, I tell you, do you know something? This is amazing. You find, I'm finding stuff out on this show, and it's chat telling me, I think <coughs> that's amazing. Milton. I don't know what it's called. Is it called Milton in the is States? It's still called no, Milton. Just Milton. Just Milton. It comes in bottle form and it comes in um, dissolvable tablets. You tablets. know, like um, dissolvable tablets. Alka-Seltzer Alka comes, like, comes in sachets like that. Oh, right. Oh, well, we'll get some of that. And then everything that's been tainted by menthol when mm -hmm. people have played So would on you them. just, after you'd emptied this, would you just then just drip the Milton? Or you can drop it in. Cause drop it into a solution. You can drop it into a solution oh, right. and just um, you can dry your wick with a hair dryer. Yes, I have yeah. a proliferation of hair dryers. It's got millions of hair dryers, <laughs> Keith has. <laughs> just the thought. <coughs> yeah, I, I use it to dry me watercolours. <laughs> You were going to say you want to work so for a minute. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, if you do water. Right. Right, yes. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, when we went there, uh, when we went to London, I went into the loos and I had those... Um, oh, yes. Those Dyson. Dyson you blades. stick your hands in. Well, yeah, but I uh, managed to splash some coke on my trousers. I nearly couldn't get back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they've, they've got quite a drag on them, those machines. Oh, they? hey, they suck like an Electrolux. <laughs> yeah. I've, I do amazing stuff, put your hands in. I'm, it, I need one of those, um, what is it, Chris has got the, the uh, ultrasonic cleaners with yeah. Milton in to get all the menthol out, mm. and one of those Dyson blades just for cleaning yeah. the wicks off, for drying them off, ready to take the juice. That's, That's right. absolutely brilliant. Be careful, you have to rinse. Really, really thoroughly once you've soaked something in Milton or yes. bleach. You have. Obviously, I wouldn't use bleach. <coughs> but Milton, you must rinse really thoroughly before you dry. See? Okay? Mm. So if you're right. going to use the ultrasonic, don't put the Milton in there. Right. What I would do is just put it in a little basin and with a bit of water or whatever and just drop them in, give them a slush about, leave them a while. And take them out, <laughs> give them a good rinse under the top, and then put them in the ultrasonic. We need a, we need a video on this. We d Chris, yes. did you hear what Daz has just yes. said? What's he said? We need a video on this. I think so. And it sounds like you are the expert, and God knows you've got no trouble getting your hands on mentholated atomizers, given your daughter. 
There's a challenge no, for you. No, if we had a video, you know, that would, that, that uh, would suit me down to the ground. Me I'm, messing it up. I'm, I'm, I'm completely gobsmacked. Yeah. I never thought mm. of that. It's amazing. Yes, yes. chat saying definitely need a video. Cat's yeah. got a new task. You can slap us about the head, leader. Oh, God. She will. <laughs> Don't you worry. Um, where are we? E God, it's advert time. Already. And we've only been talking about stuff we looked at last week. I know. And various other bits of things. We'll uh, we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, when we come back, we will get to the one three fours. Promise. Don't go anywhere. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Out. And welcome back to the Here's Our Here on the 12th of September. We've just been informed. <laughs> We've just been informed that Milton has a marketing authorisation from the MHRA, so you find the safety, quality and efficacy are <laughs> absolutely... <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You shouldn't do that. See the sale really. of Milton going through the roof. Oh, vapors use Milton. Yes, yes, absolutely. Shall we talk about the one three four? Yes. Yes. Let's just now. If if you're not aware, I'll go to close you up. You can. We might as well. Um, if you're not aware of the eye taste one three four, this is <laughs> what I call, and this is going to really annoy Lorian. It's what I call a manly machine. There they are. I have the two of them. I have the black and stainless one on the right of the screen and I have the all stainless one on the left of the screen. What's that just said? Doesn't, doesn't Keith stand, stand back? back. Keith. Dave's getting his whopper out. <laughs> Good <laughs> lord of God. <laughs> now, right, let's, let's, Daz, I'm going to give you, uh, oh, I'll use this one. I'll use the stainless one. The black and, and, and stainless is, is both the same. But if you can just hang on to that okay. for me. Thank you very much. Let's kind of run through what we're talking about here. And here it is. Let's, let's zoom in a tad and talk about it. Because I have to say, these arrived yesterday. And I'm over the moon. I am absolutely over the moon. They are heavy. They are <laughs> a big beast. They are variable wattage, and as you'll be able to see, here is where the wattage gets changed with this ring that go goes round and round. There's a little location mark just under the button here, 
and you'll see this one currently is set to 10 watts should be able to say that can you yeah, yeah 10 watts now strangely the wattage goes from 6.5 to 7 then 8 9 10 11 12 and finally 12.5 which seems like a strange range mm. and you have to think to yourself well why is it like that given that i've been using these yesterday and today I've not found anything where one of those settings doesn't work and I've been trying all kinds of things on it. Right. The battery compartment, this is so huge. When I take the 18650 out and put it beside it, you can see. I'm just laughing. At that's the 18650. Yes, and the pink, uh, and the pink battery. Yeah, exactly. Sorry? Sorry, it's a, a manly back. mod with a pink battery. There's nothing unmanly <laughs> about pink. Okay, right, carry on. Sorry, right. sorry about that. Well, uh, pink's a, pink, never, oh, <coughs> it's a manly colour. The, uh, <coughs> the contact on the base, as you'll be able to see, is solid brass. Right. Um, now, there are those that don't like the look of the base, um, and there are those that would like the black one, because the black one has the stainless base as well, would like it to have the black base. And, you know, I can see the point. It might look better. But, as ever beauty being in the eye of the beholder um, I like them both I like the look of them both and I like the feel of them both it is quite a heft um, it's the usual one two three four come on one two three four disco lights to switch oh, it disco on lights. disco lights and when your battery's fresh you get a nice green light oh, oh, I hadn't realized that. and I've kept this because when your battery's going down you get an amber ah. light Ah, yes. you see, oh. ah. very clever. So I'll uh, I'll swap this battery out now. I might as well. It's very close, close you'll become. Is that a bit better colour for oh, you? Yes. Grey battery. Yes. yes. Grief, I don't know. <coughs> I'm even getting grief for the colour of my batteries now. Shot or a probe, it's disgusting, Peyton. So it is. Um, the threading on the base, the threading. Well, the whole thing is built like a brick outhouse. Absolutely built like a brick outhouse. Um, I just love the look of it. It's big, it's brash, it's in your face. It is. And I think, I think it's safe to say that if you were in, were in weather spoons with that, they wouldn't be confused about no. what it was you were using. Definitely. Not. I take it you like to go down. Yes, I would. I would keep the button up on that one. Okay. And I'll take the other jo jobby back and screw it back on. It's very heavy. Very heavy. Oh, Can I just tell you what Jack Benyon has said? Is it safe? It is. Okay. It's an absolute corker. Go on then. Uh huh. He says, I know you can charge your phone with an MVP, but who really needs a car jack? You can go off some people, I suppose. <laughs> I should. I should also, while Daz is chuffing away on, and you might as well be chuffing away on that one, Keith. Oh dear. Oh, that's the one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I could be in deep trouble here, I don't know. But <coughs> let's go back to close you up, you come and show you what it comes in. Um, and all right, it's a bit of top dressing, I suppose. But that there is what it arrives in. Okay. It's a flight case. And my wife, who was sat listening in the <coughs> other room, has already opined it would make a lovely jewellery box or a handbag if it <coughs> had a handle on. Um, comes fitted in there you get a, an iClear 30 with it I haven't put the iClear 30 on if you so desired you could even lift that little bit out and you would have room to put an 18650 in the case as well if you wanted to there isn't one with it um, that's as it comes yeah. I'm here to tell you that the uh, the manual is I'm watching <laughs> uh, I'm here to tell you that the manual is exactly as it should be proper English um, it's not Chinglish and it's not even translated it's proper English everything that you would want to know is there um, not even sure who's handling them in the UK but I'm thinking Surfer Sigs will be if he's not he should be how are you finding that well Dave this is going to sound really weird although I am but I feel like a man with this mod yes but which man do you feel like <laughs> 
like, I feel like a manly man. <laughs> a manly man. A manly man. A manly man. <laughs> yes. And I described it, and and you know, I assumed it came out of of the uh, the, the, the the sort of. No, caging. it's that tough. It's got to be kept behind bars. Well, I <coughs> described it as a, a caged beast. Yes. And it performs as such. I just wonder where you put the bullets. It, uh, I haven't got the ammunition for it yet. Mm. But the weight is incredible. I couldn't go around. I mean, like you say, if you went like weather spoons or something like that, but because of the weight, I couldn't walk around with it. But it makes that feel like an eagle in comparison now to that. It really yeah. does. You no, know, it's sort of when you're sitting in the armchair and you have that by your side on yeah. the table. Um, Father's you... telling me my e pack and UK e store all sell it. Okay, my APAC and UK e store both stocking them. Do we have prices from them? I read in chat something about £99. £99, there you that go. That doesn't surprise me. Chat are, I, I've got to say, chat are divided on this. There are those that say it looks horrible, and there are those that are saying it's gorgeous and I want one. Mm. Vapor Caper says it's like Marmite. Mm. He had one to test and he didn't like it. Now, I love the feel of it. Yes. I mean, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a handful. It's sturdy. That's mm. it. Absolutely sturdy. And I suppose I ought to change cameras as well. Apparently, it looks better if, I, if people can see who's talking. Um, <laughs> Quite. Well, I've been one. I'll tell you what, one of the things I did notice when uh, the Swedish crew were across yesterday. Uh, this had arrived. They'd, they had arrived. And mm. I bought them, by the way. Um, and I was using them, and you tore an eyes out like chapel hat pegs. They were on stalks. They were expecting, I think, something a lot smaller and a lot more delicate and a lot more... Go on then, try it, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that Be bad. Be interesting to know its weight, just out of curiosity. I don't think I've got skills that will take it. Is it, is, it is the, the weirdest mod yeah. I've Oh, it, without yes. a doubt. Yes. I mean, it, it's it not is. light, mm, not at all. It's not. Not even slightly. It's got to weigh half a pound. Yes. Easy. It's, it's going to be oh, easily. a third of a kilogram, yeah. three, four hundred grams yes. easily. Easily. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a good thing because it's, I mean, you can tell it's well made. Mm. So if you dropped it, like, if I dropped it on my tiled floor, I've definitely got more chance of damaging the tiled floor than what I have of the... the oh, mark. you would crack a tile with this. This Without is... A that, that is yeah. not... Yeah. It's just not And because break. I'm really hopeless normally with drop, dropping mods, although touch wood, I haven't for a while, mm. um, with that, I would feel confident and, uh, that if I dropped it... And I suppose it, even if you did, the cage... If you want to be better with the caging would protect it. Yes, it? absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm, like I say, I mean, does it work as it says on the tin? The answer is yes. Yes. Mm. It does. The, uh, this is set on, on the Kraken at 10 watts. Mm. That's what you were using. Mm. Now, I'll just crack it up to 11. Have another go. Yes, that's on 10 as well. Yes. Well, I, I, that's kind of where I'm usually at with... Uh, with my devices. Well, you feel that 11. It yeah, certainly cranks it up. Oh, for I'll, the, I'll the, move this for one the difference of the watt. Two hands, Keith. <laughs> 11. 11 watts. I mean, it's, it, it's just doing the job. The only thing that I would say is, why did it call it the 134? Because the 134 is the model number of a Gatling gun. All right. And it looks like a Gatling gun. Because I remember when they were, they were on about looking for a name for it <coughs> I remember seeing a, like a picture of it and this was a while ago and they were looking for a name for what to call it yes so that's why they put the one through um, I would read out what Gary Wood has just said in chat but it might not do us any favours but Gary I agree with you he wanted to hit somebody with it Mm. Yes, oh, so it could do a lot of yes. damage. Let you, oh, four, yeah, what? If you drop that on your tour, you know, oh, I'm going to knock that back. You to see, ten. to a simpleton like me, that's far better than the digital display. Okay, elucidate. You know, the, well, well the, the fact that you're just turning a dial, yeah. aren't you? Yes. 
Yeah, rather than pressing yes. buttons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you see, that's, I mean, it, it's like going back to the AVIC, though, in as well in comparison, because with the AVIC, that's the same. Because <coughs> if you look at the AVIC, you've just got to knock it, and you can change it. Although, yes, fair enough, it's digital. Yes. It's the yes. same. But I, I completely understand where you're coming yes. from. But it's like, you know what it reminds me of? It's like 007. It, you know, like the numbers. And yes. the, 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 the design, it, it is, it's like... James Bondy kind well, of. Well, yeah, you would just think it, you know, if you stood it like that, yeah. that it was going to sort of take off. You were expecting the big one in the queue and going, this is the 137, and it does this and that, yeah. and the other, and, yeah. You know, it, it launches itself yes. out of the case. Press and this button and you turn it. It's my overactive imagination, and you see, I'm letting you. Yeah, yeah I couldn't sneak out with that. <laughs> There's so. no way I would no. let you. Even a little case. I'm, I'm, here, yeah. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Right? If either of these leave me, mm. they'll be back. There's no way am I letting go of these. Yeah. I, I really, it, it's, it's a matter of taste, isn't it? And I think it's already I mean, been established. that up and put that in, you know what I mean? Shall we do that in close-up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to close up you come and slide those two together. There you go. What Keith's been using and, yes. There's a yeah. hell of a difference. I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do because I'm I'm daft like that. I'll get the calipers out, and let's see what it measures across its widest part. Sounds uh, there. Me the prices between ninety nine and hundred and nine pounds. Between ninety nine and hundred and nine pounds, and if you can <coughs> see that, it's thirty two mils wide. It's huge. So That's yes, it. it's. Uh, between 99 and 109 pounds, and I tell you what, if they brought another one out in gold, you would buy it. I'd buy it. Now in gold, I'd pay it. yeah, sometimes. Mm. Yes, that would gold. wouldn't that just look gorgeous in all gold, gold. gold. Mm. or black and gold? That's two more. Yes. Yeah, I would. I mean, just on two days, I love the feel. The button's good. Mm. The battery life is good. The heavy as hell. Yeah. Nobody's going to mistake either of no. those for a cigarette, and I can. You know, I'm no shrinking violet. I know people are going to ask me about them. Mm. And if you if you feeling evangelistic, well, why not? I, mm. I do. I really, really like the and way they, they are, look. Because of the bottom, they are designed to stand on the bottom. Right? Oh, yes. yeah. So I mean, that's, yes. you know. Yeah. That's sturdy. Solid yeah. as a rock. There's yeah. nothing's going to get in the way of that. Yeah. It's great. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, yes, I really I do like them. point in gold and gold and black. Oh, wouldn't be, wouldn't yeah. be gorgeous? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Absolutely. Mind you, having said that, I think stealthing on jet2.com with one of these might not be easy. Maybe on I don't one. think so. No, yeah. and given the amount of... Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> and there again, if you're out and about, difficult... <laughs> I was going to say difficult to carry. No. Uh, we, we, I had to go buy in wardrobe doors today. We've been... The, the yes. alterations are not yet finished. Yes. And we went to the wardrobe door shop and I had this with me. And it's it just it doesn't roll out your hand. And I just sort of carried it with us, you know, as you no, do. No, when I mean carrying, you know, slipping. Oh stick it in a it pocket, no. It's no. it's it's, it's uh, not it's not you easily. Have your possible. overcoat on or something. It's it's, it's <laughs> no, you you're probably actually a shoulder holster. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, yes. um it's not yeah. easy it's not easy to pocket, no. Um but that said, I, I, I just like it. I do. I like it. And, and at the price, mm. in comparison to a lot of other things, it's not badly priced. If, if, you, if you like the look of it, it is. It's like Marmite, isn't it? It is. If you like the look of it, at that price, go for it. If mm. you don't like the look, at it, the look of it, at any price, don't bother. Mm. Um, I think you've got to really want it. You've got to like Certainly it. You've got different. to like the look of it. Mm. But in terms of does it do what it says on the tin, Thus far, definitely, definitely. At which point, we'll take another quick set of adverts, and when we come back, <coughs> when we come back, I want to talk about that V Pro that we looked at last week because I've worked it all out. Mm. And it's oh, you've not, worked it out. I've worked it out, and it's not what you think, and it's not what they tell you it is either. Right. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Ireland, and I'm going to talk a little bit about a new website that I want everybody to be using. Um, so we'll be back in a couple of minutes. If you need a wee, Go for one. If you're getting one, can you get one for us? Because we can't leave the studio. See you in two.
Save the Six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back in the room here on the Hayes Hour on uh, Thursday the 12th of September. I've just been reminded uh, to give you an example of how heavy these things are. While we were doing this wardrobe door buying, the sliding wardrobe doors. Yes. And one that we were looking at, Jill was trying to get an idea of how they would look on the, on the widths we want. So we'd kind of narrowed it down to two foot here and three foot there and so on and so forth. But the, the one at the front that was sliding backwards and forwards just kept on going. Because it must have been slightly downhill. Right. So I took the 134 and I stood it on the track. That stopped it. It stopped the door. It down. makes right. a hell of a door it's stop. Door stop yes, right. It's a good, I mean, it's a multifunctional device. I don't know whether it'll be as good for building IKEA furniture mm. <laughs> as, as uh, Chris's favourite device, but you don't know. I mean, I think it's. Feel sturdy enough to have a nail in with it. Oh, I would think so. I would think so. Shall we talk about new website? Yeah. Mm. People that watch Vapor Trails TV on anything like a regular basis are almost certain to be aware of Jerry Stimson. Jerry has a new website and, and this is it. This is the new website. It's called the Nicotine Science and Policy website and the address is nicotinepolicy.net. Nicotinepolicy.net. And it's everything you want to know about nicotine, about e-cigs, there's all kinds of information here, including a very, very fast news feed, he said clicking. Um, so as you can see, as stuff comes out, and today is the 12th, it's already up there. All of the news stories that are there about it are there. Um, it's going to be one hell of a resource. Oh, cool, that's Jerry. If you're talking to anybody about whatever's going on, there's a full lexicon. It's all there. Analog cigarette, APV, all of the terms that you would want, that's all there. Oh, right. Whole load of um, the, the Nicopedia, which is obviously is under development. You've got research documents, um, all kinds of stuff there, clinical studies, mm. uh, ability to deliver nicotine. These are all separate studies from Bullen and, and all kinds of other folks. E-cig effect on user health, efficacy in assisting smoking cessation, we'll gloss over that. The potential as a gateway to tobacco use, I can imagine that there's some very good information mm. there. User experiences, efficacy, that's the, that's the site. It's nicotinepolicy.net, nicotinepolicy.net. And I think, given that it's come from, was that on? It was on, mm -hmm. yes. Um, given that it's come from, from Jerry, um, it's got to be worth looking at. Um, I love the fact it's everything rolled into one to save you. Yeah. Looking all <coughs> over, everything's gathered in, under one site. That's excellent. It That's is. really good. What do you, what do you make of it, Keith? Just the sort of thing that would appeal to particularly a beginner, isn't it? I mean, yeah. all that information. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and, and given the current climate and, and all of the... 
talking to MAPs, which I beg of you, please keep on talking to MAPs, especially those who have not yet been fully informed. Mm. All the information that you need is there. Guide them towards it, even. Yeah. The fact Guide that them it towards it. it all together, yes. as you say. Everything you need in one place. Mm -hmm. I think, yes, there is. If we go to uh, the video section um, and have a look there, you'll see there's all kinds of stuff. All of the, the clips that are available are on there, including Farsalinos, Dr. Farsalinos on the coronary circulation thing, AC Wizard, that's the SWAF video. Mm -hmm. um, there's one there from us with the. Uh, on a train of Brussels. Oh, yeah, everything. There's all kinds of stuff there. Um, why e cigarettes work from uh, Michael Siegel, more on the protest, regulation and presentation, all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of video there that you can point people at. Um, it, it is, and the fact that it, it it it's all all the press coverage mm. is being brought together yeah. as well. Yeah, it, it's you know stuff that people won't be aware of mm. if you, unless you get every every paper that comes out. Well, that's right. That's right. There's 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 all kinds of information there. So go and have a look at it tonight. Uh, Nicotinepolicy.net. There'll be a link. He's bound to go into chat. Nicotinepolicy.net. Go and have a look at it. And it's uh, it's it's a it's a great resource and one that I would uh, advise everybody to use. And I very rarely recommend anything, but I recommend that. The second thing I'm going to recommend before we blast on with the uh, the VPro is November the sixteenth. And this might be a little bit early, but November the sixteenth, Vapefest Ireland in Abbey Lakes. And the reason I'm pumping this a little bit early. Is because you'll need to book hotels and stuff and you if you if you were tuned in before the show you'll have heard us talking about the kind of welcome that you get when you go to Ireland you need a hotel <laughs> need a hotel the Abbey Lakes Hotel apparently is very good um, but here's the site um, there it is and the uh, the URL is very difficult to sort out it's vapefestireland.com um, and there's all kinds of information there, how to get there, uh, the whole thing, venues and dates, all of that sort of thing, who's turning up, um, the dates and venue, as you say, it's at the Abbey Leaks Hotel on the 16th of November 2013, the Abbey Leaks Manor Hotel in Abbey Leaks, County Louth, um, and it should be absolutely brilliant. I, for one, am going and I'm taking Mrs. David Dorn with us, my wife's coming. We'll stay on the Friday night and the Saturday night mm. because they will go to the bar and there'll be 18 pints of Guinness bought mm. and this time I'm supping them all. It'll be fun. Best of luck. Oh, yes. it'll be brilliant. You should go. Yes. You should go. 18 pints of Guinness. 18 pints of Guinness. What? There is no better way to die. Mm. I'm not a Guinness drinker. Uh, hey, know. I'm not a Guinness drinker in the it's UK. Different it's different It's completely there. different. If anybody's in chat from Ireland, get them told. Yeah. Guinness in Ireland is completely oh, different right, from what we get over very, here. Very, very different. It's creamier, it's slightly sweeter, it's definitely tastier. Right. Oh, it's mm. gorgeous. Doesn't travel well. No. But if you're anywhere in Ireland, near Dublin, oh man, mm. it'll, it'll have you dancing so it will. Yes. Mm. It's brilliant. So that's Vapefest Island uh, coming up really, really. Well, it's not really soon. Six weeks away, isn't it? Mm. In uh, November the 16th. I'm going to be there. Love to see you there. It'll be yes. It'll be yes. And MG Jones has just said, Guinness does not travel. No, it doesn't. And Gary Wood has said, it's bloody horrible. <laughs> FMRL <laughs> has said, it's lovely in Ireland. Mm -hmm. What Rat Finks has just said, we can't read out. And <laughs> Va Vapor Caper has said, and this has got to be read in an Irish accent, it's creamier, it's softer. More flavour, it's fucking amazing. That's very Good. true. That'd be about right. It's very and, true. And Paul Maddy said, plus one on the Guinness in Ireland, DD, it's lush, it is. It's amazing. It is. You've got to go. And Egomaniacs come up with a, a, British, a, a brilliant Irish toast. And his favourite is, may you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> And I was, it was explained to me last time I was over there, you know, the yellow lines on the side of the road? Yes. Mm. It was explained to me how they work in Ireland. It says, if there's no yellow lines, you can park. If you see a single yellow line, there's no parking at all. And if there's two yellow lines, there's no parking at all, at all. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
so there you go. Miles Dolphin's going over his booty's hotel room and flight. So, all good. I'll see you there, Miles, and I hope to see a few more too. Shall we move on? Let's move on to this beastie, the V-Pro, that we looked at last night. Get back onto close you up your cam, get the black box out of the way. Can you just yes. shove that somewhere for me? Thank you very much. Here we go. Now, I was saying that I was having trouble sorting out the power. Yes. Right. Watch and, and be amazed, for I was. I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. Because Liz, vaping point, mm. got hold of me. Right. Now, let's, let's first look at what we've got on here. And I want to go to the homage mm -hmm. it's 2.6 ohms yes now let's go into voltage mode which i'm in and you'll see i've got it set to 5.9 volts mm -hmm. and at 5.9 volts it works pretty much as you would expect it on a 2.6 ohm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. quite warm producing very nicely back to close you up you can we go and now let's go into power mode, which is number six. And I'm gonna, it's at 11. Mm. Now I'm gonna take it, oh Lord, missed it. Here we go. I'm gonna take, round we go again. Six, six, go to six. There we go. I'm gonna take it up to 20, which is the maximum power it will deliver. Mm -hmm. Now, 20 watts into a 2.6 ohm load mm -hmm. would require over 8 volts. So what it's delivering is 13 watts. Right. So it's telling you the maximum it can deliver. You would be able to get 20 watts if you had a low enough resistance atomizer mm -hmm. on it. So kind of in a way like what the AVIC does. It's kind of in a way like what the AVIC does, yes. Mm. So it does actually have a power mode and a voltage mode. And I should point out that I've, I've actually had it on the meters mm. and tried it out. It, it's not easy to see mm. um, on, on screen. So, and I've not had a chance to film it. But it does appear to do what it says on the tin, only, well, nearly what it says on the tin. You can only get 20 watts out of it if you are using low resistance mm. atomizers and I would think you would probably need probably sub ohm and I don't have anything sub ohm to put on it uh, and I'm not sure I would use it mm. but at full chat give it a try it's um, it's got a BCC on it and it's fairly innocuous juice but it's worth a blast just to see what it will do I've put uh, Mark Jones has just asked what battery I've got in it there's an 18650 in it mm. I don't do stacking Will it take stacked? I believe it takes stacked. I believe it takes 18650s, but did you have a look at the lead? 18340s, yes. 18340, sorry. Yes. Did you have a look at the lead? I did. Yeah. And I'm, no. Yeah. I'm not happy about charging it that way. I want mm. the batteries out to charge. Mm. It's not, uh, no. No. I just, I'm not, I'm not there yet. Because apparently it um, charges other items as well. It will, yes. It yes. goes in both directions. Oh. Um, so is that still the bay looked at? I st yes, I'm going to need to put um, yes. charging leads on the meter mm. and find out what's going on. I, mm. I still prefer, when we start talking about something the size of an 18650, mm. if something goes wrong yes. and that does decide to go postal, it's going to go postal in a big way. Yes. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of not there. I like mm. to know that these are being charged on something I trust, which is either going to be X-Star or Paler for me. I've not had chance to have a look at the other stuff yet but I know where I'm at with the charges I've got and I'd rather take the batteries out mm. um, it's got it, some it, in it, it has yeah so we know that that'll, it'll run to 13 watts with a 2.6 mm -hmm. with a 2.2 it'll run to 14 so mm -hmm. going to be right down before you'll get up to 20 watts and I'm not even sure that at 20 watts you'd want to go there yeah you know so that's that's kind of where it's at but while we're talking about updates to things and wattage power and what have you, I know these have already been covered, but I do want to mention a little bit about them. And these would be this, which is the Kick version 2, which is very, very different from the Kick version 1, mm. uh, in that this goes up to a full 15 watts. Right. And it does. I've measured it. 
and it's it's absolutely corking at that. There's the uh, the version one beside it, uh, and you can see there's a great difference. These two new prongs really do make a, a good solid connection. Yeah. Um, it's doing the 15 watts. I've got one currently in. He said, "Cut on back into my dingo." Right. And I've got that set at 12 watts onto uh, a pro tank. I might have switched it off. No, I haven't. There you go. Performing very nice. It's working delightfully. Absolutely delightfully. And mm. when it drops mm. off, it drops off. It's, yes. it's really good. I really like the way that takes what was a mechanical modern Turk. It takes it into where... Uh, Andy D said 12 watts on a pro tank Bernie rubber. Tell him. No, it's, not it, at all. It's it's coping with it really nice. I think as well that, that a lot of it can be down to what you put the pro tank on. Yes, to a large degree. Yeah. Um, having minted the, uh, the kick two out, I can tell you it's bang on the money. It is absolutely mm. bang on the money. Does what it support you like in that, yes. eh? Yes, thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> it's too heavy for you, it, Keith. It is a bit heavy. It's yes, too heavy yes, for you. There's, yes. there's, there's, there's no way. Um, it's it's <coughs> it's working absolutely spot on. Mm. Um, and I'm I'm really quite uh, optimistic about the way things are going because we're seeing more and more wattage control stuff come mm. out that actually does the job the yes. way it was meant to. Um, and I like that. I like knowing that the, the heat I'm getting is what I've set it mm. to and I'm not messing about working volts and mm. what have you or trying to wind a coil to a specific resistance mm. in order to get it to work the way I want it to. Mm. Um, so, you know, uh, yeah, kick two, that's a thumbs up from thumbs me. Up. The V-Pro, now that we know how it works mm. and what it's doing, a guarded thumbs up, I would say. Um, as far as... These beasties, are, I mean, listen to the clunk that makes Boink. when you put it down. That's just, yes, um, I, I, I love these. I really do. I want two little shoulder holsters in there. <laughs> I have like an idea that shoulder holsters, you can just, yes. You can just be, you know, sitting in a pub somewhere. What of those you've got, sir? Are they cigarettes? Are you blind, son? You should have gone to Specsavers. Oh, oh, take me home, mummy. And I think we're uh, just about out of time. We've even covered everything with you. We've yeah, covered yes. everything yeah, we meant to. Have I forgotten anything, Chris? You have not. Have I mentioned everything I was supposed to? You have indeed. <laughs> just to let you know, Miles Dolphin sent me a photograph of his shoulder horse there. Have you? Yes, he has. It's actually on our Facebook page if anybody wants to look. And I'll send you the details for next. That's brilliant. Thank you very much, Miles. Um, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks to Kat for guiding me through this show because my brain's a little bit like Swiss cheese, so she's made sure I've done everything I need to do. And as you've heard, I haven't missed anything out. Yeah. Thanks to uh, my two good friends, Daz and Keith, for coming and joining me again. And thank everybody for tuning in and watching and continuing to watch Vapor Trails TV shows. Don't forget tomorrow night... RY4 Radio, on Sunday, Dave's Tackle Box, on Monday, Gary and Mark with Tin Your Tip, Naked Modding with Bones and Blood this, this week, I'm told, on Tuesday, what have we got on Tuesday, Chris? Tuesday, we have got a short episode of Team Talk, Team Talk. Team Talk, great, I love Team Talk, I think it's amazing, <laughs> followed by yeah, that's so that's Tuesday, Team Talk, followed by DE Talk, and then Wednesday we're back with VT Talk, and then next Thursday night is World, World Vaping, Vaping Day. Day. Keep tuned in, because we're going to tell you about the surprises, but don't expect an hour-long show. It's going to be bigger than that. No more clues or hints. Till next time, take care, vape on, vape hard, nil carborundum, Illegitimate from the three of us <laughs> and from Kat. Good night, everybody. Good, Good night, night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night.
Sapers Eggs, sponsors of the Haze Hour. 